Hello everyone, my name is Lavanna Maya. Welcome on today's episode of Khas Chaja. Today we have with us Mr. Sandeep Ghosh. He is the publisher of Outlook magazine and also has done wonders in banking and finance industry. Sir, we welcome you. Hi, Lavanna. Okay, so my very first question to you is that uh, what is your opinion on the growth of financial sector in India? See, I, I have a detailed presentation on this in the show later on. But in nutshell, I want to tell everybody that, you know, there is a huge amount of concern that is going on with the financial sector and the banking sector, uh, particularly, you know, the, the non-banking finance corporations. I must say everything is good in the long run. In the initial phases, there are hiccups and every economy as it passes through, you cannot have like day all the time. You know, you have day followed by night and night followed by a day. It's just like that. It's a temporary phase. Some policy decisions has been wrong and the government is also trying to rectify them. Uh, the industry is also putting enough, you know, enough uh, pressure on the government to, you know, to take corrective steps. I am very sure, I'm very hopeful that, you know, in some time, I don't know the time exactly when it will be in six months or three months or a year. Mm -hmm. Things will be good because the fundamental of our, you know, of our country is very good in all respects. Okay. So my next question is very basic but yet is very important. As we know, uh, there is a huge gap between the Indian ruler and Indian urban. So why there is no penetration in rural areas as compared to un urban? See, you have asked me a very interesting question and I won't be able to answer this in five minutes. But let me make an attempt. Okay. India was um, the world's food basket. If you go back to the time of Samudra Gupta, if you go back to the time of Ashok, India was the country that was ruling the world. And, you know, people used to stand outside India with their ships, you know, begging for spice, begging for food and begging for cotton, which they used to take from India to the European and the American markets. The Britishers came to India and all of a sudden they wanted to change the economy from the rural economy into an industrial economy. And then when we got our freedom, Jawaharlal Nehru turned, Pandit Nehru wanted to turn it into a mixed economy. That is possibly not giving us the result. And that's the divide what is happening between the rural India and the industrial India. The moment you get into an industrial economy, suppose I do my whatever degree that you have done, you will immediately get into the job market and you will earn some quick money. A farmer's son who is in the rural India, he will not earn the money so easily. So every day a farmer loses his son to the industrial world and the industrial world is becoming bigger and the rural world is contracting. So that's why the difference has come up in between the rural India and the industrial India. Uh, our Honorable Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, she re recently stated us that uh, India, Indian millennial, they are fear of commitment, particularly in financial sector. For example, taking loan, they are f they are afraid of doing this. So, what uh, do you align with this statement? See, this is partially correct and partially incorrect. Also, you have to take loan, and loan is a culture now. You know, people see earlier if you talk of my parents, my parents, uh, you know, bought a car possibly after retirement with the money that my father got, you know, uh, from his pension or PF. I got a car when I was, you know, in first year of my job. So loan across the globe is a practice. People are not afraid of loan. People are afraid of the economy. People are afraid of losing jobs. So that's why there is a dip in, you know, taking loan and, and, you know, splurge in spending money. But again, as I said, you know, with the banking and financial sector revival, these things would, should get sorted out in the very short run. So how do you see Indian economy after next 5 to 10 years? Will it be... Very good. Well, I have no doubt about it. You know, see, everything in the short term, you do not know. And may I quote you one thing? You know, there's a famous, uh, there's a famous investor, I'm forgetting his name. He said, in the short run, the markets behave like voting machines. Like, you know, if you go for a voting machine, you might see one party going up, one party coming down. But in the long run, the market will behave like a weight machine. Like, you know, from childhood till now, you will only grow on adding weight. So Indian economy have no doubt, even you can challenge God on this subject, that by 2050, we will be the world's largest economy feeding everybody because our fundamentals are very strong. So short run there will be hiccups and it will continue like this only you know you'll never have a stable economy economy will go up come down go up come down but in the long run it's a fantastic economy thank you so much sir for your precious time this was lavana maya with the camera person mohammed anas